Just because your life doesn't work out the way you designed it doesn't mean you can't fashion a plan B out of sheer will and determination. And such is the story of a Waterford woman who is creating a giant footprint in the fashion world. And as we celebrate Women's History Month, Paula Tutman shows us how this self-taught designer had a brush with greatness that seemed to align the stars. My name is Desiree Nicole, creative director and founder of menswear label Top Patrick. When you're on your way to greatness, it doesn't hurt that as an infant, you may have been blessed by the greatest kiss on the forehead. I feel blessed every day. Originally from Waterford, like most any other kid athlete, she grew up wanting to go pro in basketball. A successful athlete at Eastern Michigan University, she was well on her way. I had the opportunity to go play in Italy and the contract fell through. She didn't have a plan B, so she moved to New York with no family, no funds, no prospects, but on a whim, took a sewing class. They had a free sewing class. I think you had to pay maybe $100 for the kit. But from there, I was on YouTube teaching myself with like an at-home Joanne Fabric sewing machine, and I've used that all the way up until this year. That was 2016, so let's be clear. She taught herself to sew on a $99 low-level sewing machine going to YouTube University, and within two years, had a collection. Two years later, which is four years after learning to sew, she opened the store, Todd Patrick, in Atlanta. Last year, 218 in Detroit's Eastern Market was the first shop in Michigan to sell her clothing, and now they can't keep it in stock. Like a lot of the stuff is handmade. I cut down the fabrics and patterns myself. The quality, the, the, uh, the attention to detail, it's just a different level of, of attention. And, um, and I think people appreciate that. I'm using the same quality of materials. I'm using the same method as the Gucci's, the Dior's, the Hermes's. Well, we can't wait to see what you come up with. Thank Fun. you. When Thanks, Netflix guys. came a call in for this season's new Next in Fashion, Desiree answered. Specializing in men's couture, she stretched herself. You did a woman's look and you slayed. I taught myself how to sew on the show. Every episode I sewed something I've never sewn before. Every single episode. I love this. She didn't win the show, but she's been winning in everything else. Styling big celebrity names and big business collabs. From Kevin Hart to Big Sean, Tyrod Taylor, that's quarterback for the Bills. I've styled Rodney McLeod, Cam Jordan, Benny Fowler, Darquez Denard, and a lot of those guys played at Michigan State. She and fiance Gab joined business forces and have traveled 25 countries in five years, selling the brand and its soulful, colorful Detroit roots. The story of Detroit is woven through her fabrics, designs, colors, and aesthetic. She just closed a collaboration deal with the Pistons. And her proud father talks about that interesting blessing she got as a baby. He was a boxer in Detroit back in the day. And after winning a big fight at the palace at Auburn Hills, a long limousine rolled up and outstepped none other than Muhammad Ali. So he picked her up, uh, kissed her on her head, on her forehead, and said she would do amazing things in life. It turns out that the blessing of the greatest may have set the world in motion for a young woman who fashioned a future out of grit, determination, and following her own personal North Star. I would just really say that in life you have choices, and I think if you make those right choices in, in what you believe is right, I think the outcome is going to be better than you could have ever imagined. Exciting stuff, Todd Patrick. Remember the name, remember the name. I, I do want to dial back in to that Pistons collab for just a moment because that's really exciting. I'm totally vibing that. She can't say a lot about it, but she does promise there will be pieces in there, something for everybody in terms of Pistons fandom. And even though she's a luxury brand, this is where, this is the entry point. This is where you get in with her very first collab. So proud of her, so proud of what she's doing. Remember that name, Desiree Nicole Todd Patrick. Oh, we will remember that for sure. I love her vibe. I love her energy, I love the style, beautiful clothing. Paula. Awesome. Thank, Thank you, Paula. You. Appreciate it.